Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to break at slow speeds, at normal speeds and at high speeds. So one of the things to remember if you want to brake smoothly is your foot positioning. You want to be able to press the brake properly without struggling with your foot. So if you look here, my foot is quite big on this and I've got the pedal underneath my uh, the ball of my foot. Some people prefer to have the brake over here but for me, because my foot is quite big, it's not going to be comfortable, especially the way I'm sitting. So I like to have it just like that. And the more you drive, the kind of easier it gets to find your own position that's comfortable for you so first let me show you how to brake when you're going really slowly so right now imagine like you're in a car park you're in heavy traffic and I'm not using any gas but the car's going around five miles an hour and if I was to brake first right now the car's most likely going to stall especially if you're not experienced and I'll show you what I mean so let's say I'm coming to a stop then I'll go to brake but then if I go to the clutch but then it's already too late I've already stalled and that's because the revs went too low and then the engine stalled to avoid that what you want to do at that sort of speed is really press the clutch down first so right now i'm going about five miles an hour again i'm going to press my clutch first and then brake really gently so my clutch is all the way down and then i'm braking really gently and you see that way the car didn't stall the revs uh, remained just under 1000 rpms which is okay if any lower than that it would have stalled but to avoid that i pressed the clutch down first and then it didn't stall so i'm not rushing to get to that uh, jam there because there's no point otherwise i have to slam a brake on again so to avoid that just go there really slowly and then clutch down again and brake smoothly and some learners really struggle in this stop start traffic because if you brake too much now the car's going to stall so to avoid it I'm, I'm going to put my clutch down and brake so in these kind of speeds just remember to make it easy for yourself just put your clutch down first and then brake that way you're less likely to stall so this speed right now I'm doing about 15 miles an hour the RPM is around 1,500. I can actually brake first before I bring my clutch down. I'm braking first and then once the RPMs get to about 1,000, I can start bringing my clutch down. And then because I'm in second gear, I can go then into first gear. While the whole time keeping my brake really gentle. Then as I come to a stop, I can ease off a tiny bit now just to make it smooth. Right now I'm doing about 20 miles an hour and I want, I want to stop just before I reach that tree there. I check my mirrors and can start braking gently. And then I can feel the car starting to give a little rumble. Then I can put my clutch down. It was around that time it was around around 1000 rpms it starts to rumble a little bit and the more you drive your car the more you can kind of feel the when to press the clutch down before the car rumbles eventually you will need you get used to it without you actually having to check the rpms because obviously you want to be able to keep it out on the road as much as possible without looking down at the rpms too much what you don't want to do is get into the habit of pressing your clutch down first all the time so that's mainly for when you're going less than you know around five miles an hour going really slow in first gear but if you're in the other gears you don't need to press the clutch down first because that's, that's quite a bad habit you're gonna get into the habit of coasting so i'm just gonna press my clutch down first you see the car doesn't slow down at all it's, it's still moving at the same pace almost and then i'm gonna press my brake if you get into the habit of using your clutch first there will be a time when you might need to actually stop quickly and because you're pressing the clutch first it's not gonna work so much it's not gonna work as well you're not gonna stop that quickly now i'm gonna show you how to brake really smoothly so a mistake that a lot of learners make is when they're trying to brake smoothly, they brake too hard when the car's coming to a stop. To avoid that sharp brake, you need to actually come off the, the brake. I'll show you what I mean. I'll show you the wrong way first. So if I'm coming to a stop now, let's say I start braking. I'm going to stop just before that car there. I'm going to start braking now. And then what they will do is they'll brake harder like there and then keep your foot down. You see, that gives you that jolt. To avoid that sharp jolt at the end, what you want to do is come off the brake just as your car is stopping. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I'm going to start braking gently, check my mirrors first of all, and then I'm going to put my clutch down. And then just before my car comes to a full stop, I'm going to ease off the brake. So like now, I'll ease off the brake slightly, and then that way, you see, hardly feel it because you're not getting that sharp stop at the end. You're kind of easing the car into the stop, and then once the car's fully stopped again, I can then gently squeeze my brake. 